Hi, welcome to Christine's new cooking show. It's called Cooking What You Sketch. And today, we're going to be cooking this rainbow trout I sketched. Alrighty, so this is going to be really fun and fast. It's a wonderful recipe with fresh trout. Oh, there he goes. <laughs> Super easy, and I found out about this recipe when I went to uh, Sicily a while back, and we were on the coast of Sicily, and we went to a place called the Tropani Salt Flats, and these are salt flats that have been mined for salt for 2,000 years since the Phoenicians, and we brought back a whole bunch of this really cool salt. It was pretty heavy in our packs. But anyway, um, this is a traditional recipe that we're going to make with the rainbow trout uh, from that period. And it's um, a tropony style salt encrusted trout. Alrighty, so you ready to go? Okay, so the first thing we do is we're going to uh, stuff our trout uh, with lemon slices. Super easy. You don't even need a recipe. So I'm not going to give you a recipe. Super easy. We're just going to cut these lemons. Try not to be Julia Child here. Oh my. Stuffing the trout with the lemons and you can you can use just about anything in here. Um, we're going to use some fresh herbs. So we've got some uh, oregano and some rosemary and some thyme fresh thyme and we're going to just stuff all this in here as well as some fresh dill so we're going to uh, use the fronds of the dill and the rest of the dill um, no wait this isn't dill this is fennel uh, the rest of the fennel I'll use in my green juices because I love to make fresh juice with my juice soup anyway so here we go we're going to Put these uh, fennel slices in here. He's getting awfully full, this trout. Uh, okay. And um, dill. Now you're supposed to use fresh dill, but they were out at the grocery store today, so I'm using some of this, um, this paste. So don't tell anybody. And I'm cooking this meal for my my friends, I've invited some friends to share this big meal with me, and um, they're here uh, patiently uh, listening to the uh, this presentation. Woohoo! So, Woohoo! Yes. Okay, great. So now we've uh, stuffed the fish. Oh no, we haven't finished yet. We need to put in some fresh garlic. So I like to I like to use a big um, fat knife to crush the uh, garlic bulbs first. And that's a really easy way to get rid of the stems. And then we're going to crush them in the garlic uh, press here. So we can put them inside. Uh, it's the most exercise I've gotten all day here. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm going to do a whole series of these. Eating what you sketch. Last month we collected some morel mushrooms. And I should have videoed the recipes we made from those. Oh, they were so good right here in our own backyard in Central Oregon. We collected those morel mushrooms and we made, uh, what do we make? Homemade pizza. Okay, so stuffing the garlic in the trout. See trout? Okay, there we go. And I'm going to wipe my hands off. Oh, and you're supposed to take... Uh, a sip of wine uh, between every step. Cheers, cheers. And today we're having, of course, Oregon wines from Oregon. A to Z, Oregon Pinot Gris, because that's a, an Italian grape and we're making an Italian recipe. All right, so let's see. Um, the fish is stuffed. Now we rub him on the outside, him or her, um, with olive oil some extra virgin olive oil. Just rub it all over there. Okay. Okay. Now we are ready to make the um, encrusting uh, potion, whatever you call it. Okay. 
So we've got some of our tropity salt, but if you can't get all the way to Sicily to get your own salt from tropity, you can use this uh, coarse ground uh, kosher salt. We used some of that too. Okay, so you just take a few cups of that, and then you add um, some water. And again, it's just not that, doesn't have to be that perfect, just a little bit of water. We're trying to make it the consistency of uh, if you were playing um, at the beach and making a sand castle, okay? So it's just coarse salt and some water and then some egg whites. And so I've got my eggs here. Um, oh boy, you're going to get to see me try to uh, separate an egg. Oh boy, now I'm all nervous. Um, let's see. Oh, here we go. So, crack that puppy. There we go. Just the egg whites. I'm trying to get just the egg whites. Two. Walk. Okay. Three, and we had about three cups of salt as well, and about a quarter cup of what? Water. Yeah, water. Okie dokie. Then we whisk them together with our handy dandy whisk. <laughs> I, think, I think the peanut gallery has had too much wine. What do you guys think? They're laughing. Is that a new whisk? This is a new whisk. Okay, so we're going to add the egg whites to the salt and water potion here. And mix it up. I guess you don't use the whisk. Well, I can use the whisk. It's working great. So anyway, the consistency of the type of wet sand you would use um, making a sand castle at the beach. Oh, I used to love doing that. That was so fun. Alrighty. It's making a nice, satisfying sound here. What was your favorite beach? Oh, the peanut gallery is asking what my favorite beach is. Well, I used to do a lot of sand castles in um, Santa Cruz, California, where I used to live. I really miss living on the beach. We live in the desert now, the beautiful high desert. Uh, but I really miss the smell of uh, kelp. And rotting kelp? Yeah, rotting kelp. And okay. sand flies. Oh, sand flies, yeah. Please. Well, yeah, the last time I was in Mexico... Dead I had, seals. I had shorts on, and I was getting... Uh, I got sand fly bites all over me. Oh, <laughs> you didn't see that. You had left already. <laughs> I got sand flies all over me. How are we doing? Okay, good. So that's ready. Now comes the fun part. Well, I first want to tell you why we use the salt. We're using the salt because we're going to completely entomb the fish and that will lock in the flavor completely. This is the, this is the best, quickest way to make a really um, moist, juicy, succulent fish. Because fish, um, kind of like chicken, has the tendency to get too dry. Alrighty, so that's all done. Could, could I make some sand castles out of that? Mm, yeah, I think so. Okie doke. So now we got our, our beautiful fish that we stuffed and we're going to put it in our tray. Okay. So first we want to make a bed for the fish to lie, lay, lie on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm always getting that one wrong. Uh, maybe I should drink some more wine. You're supposed to have a sip between each step. A sip between each I'm step. I'm missing the sips. Will help. Okay. So we put we put a little bed of salt down first. Wait, that looks like a sandcastle. Ah, it's supposed to. Yay. Okay. I'm not sure if you can hear the comments from the peanut gallery, you guys. But anyway, so we've made. Can you guys see this? Let's see. Good. There we go. So we've made the bed for our, our fish to lie in. <laughs> um, actually, I have a second fish that I'm going to put in later. So I'm going to have to move it over later. But anyway, so then we're going to take our fish and I'm going to turn them over because I didn't oil the other side. Okay. Turn them over in this little bed here. 
Isn't he beautiful? Okay, and then we're going to um, get the oil off of our hands. Put some more organic California olive oil on him. Okay, and then we're going to finish the entombing process. And we're going to leave the tail uncovered uh, because it's just a, uh, a decorative thing. It looks kind of cool. And we always want to look cool and feng shui, don't we? Okay, and we're cooking something over here. Let me check. Oh, yeah. That's going to be the beurre blanc. Alrighty, so we're going to entomb this fish here with the salt. This is the fun part. Totally covering him all up, covering his eyes up. Go to sleep, fishy. <laughs> So, why don't you use the rest of the salt? Oh, it's for my second fish. Oh. This is the stunt fish. No, this is the prettier fish. I actually bought two fish for the fish sketching tutorial that I did. And the first fish uh, was kind of ugly and was missing some fins. So I had to go back and get a better, healthier, happier uh, dead fish from the store. And that's this one. So I'm going to actually bake the other one tonight too. He's perfectly good to eat. He just wasn't as um, carefully cleaned by the fishmonger. Alrighty, so he goes in the oven for about 15 minutes. And in the meantime, we'll make our beurre blanc. I've already cooked up some shallots and some white wine. Again, the, uh, the amounts aren't that um, important. You just cook it down so it's relatively kind of candied and dry, okay, and then we're adding um, this butter, about a half a cup of butter, wait, not this one, that's too much butter, this is the butter that I pre-measured, about a half a cup of butter, and then I'm going to uh, whip it up here, and, um, oh, well, uh, it's been a little bit too long since it was cooking because I've been talking to you guys. So it's going to have to go back on the stove a little bit. Okay, so we're going to let that um, warm up on the stove and I'll finish whisking it later. And um, we'll be right back when our fish comes out of the oven in 15 minutes. Okay? And we're back. So we've had our fish in the oven for 40 minutes at 400 degrees and we're going to make sure that it uh, reached the correct temperature with our thermometer. It has to be around 140 degrees. So let's see if we were successful. Oh my gosh, isn't that beautiful? Here's our fish. I hope you can see our little trout here and you can see it's totally encrusted. Now let's make sure we... Um, uh, test the temperature here. It should go up to 90 and 100 and 110, 120, 130, 137, 141, 144. Ooh, that's good enough. Okay, so hotter than it needs to be. Okay, hopefully we didn't overcook it because we've been having lots of fun here at the house with our uh, guests sitting outside in the beautiful in the beautiful Oregon afternoon, watching our pygmy nut hatches fledge and the um, lesser gold finches are also having their babies. We just watched a longhorned long beetle fly by and a hummingbird. Okay, and we've also just finished our beurre blanc, which was made with shallots and white wine and dill and red pepper flakes. Uh, and lemon zest and lemon. Yes, and white wine. Did I mention white wine? It's an important ingredient to always cook with white wine, especially if we have fish. Alrighty then. So get, get out of the picture. Oh, so our guest is having to get a drink. Okay, some more white wine. So now this is the piece, piece, piece de resistance is removing the tomb of salt that kept the fish so flavorful. And so what we do with that um, is we use a spoon and we use a fork and we gently uh, flake it off. First we hit it, like 
kind of like that to crack it. See that? It cracked it. Okay, and then we uh, gently lift it off like that. And uh, all the way around here. Then, then we remove the uh, aromatics, which was uh, the onion and the, uh, what else? No, garlic. We had garlic and lemon. Oh, that was so good. So that lent a lot of flavor to the fish. Okay. So now, um, oh, now we use a, a brush here to get a little bit more of the salt off. We really don't want a lot of the salt flavor in the uh, fish. We've got plenty of that other places here. Okay. So then we remove the skin. What about the head? What about the head? Oh, that's the delicacy. Yeah. What do you mean? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna. Oh my gosh, oh, the skin! It good. the skin is coming off beautifully. I mean, Thank it's you. Very moist. Oh my and god. Are we hungry? You are hungry. They've been patiently waiting. So now we uh, get the plates out, make sure not to burn our hands. And as Anthony Bourdain says, we will now plate our meal. So here we go. So this is the top part of the fish on top of the bones. Because remember in our tutorial, we talked about drawing bony fish or the class osteictes, which is uh, Latin for bone. Okay, so there we go. We just put a little bit of that fish right on there. And we're going to cover it with our verre blanc. Okay. And, oh, so we made this wonderful risotto, since this is an Italian dish, if you remember, from the coast of Sicily. And so we made some mushroom and herb risotto. Okay, so we're going to uh, have that as well. And there's also a salad that's already on the table along with the Pinot, Gri Pinot Grigio wine. Now, there we have it. Thanks so much for joining me, my new TV show, Sketching What You Cook, or Cooking What, what you, you Sketch. sketch. Cooking What You Sketch. Okay, so bye-bye.